Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy One Gun, and uh, I am back this afternoon. Sorry it took me so long to get back to the microphone, but I am back, and uh, just want to talk to you all um, about uh, this whole situation with uh, me and Joe once again. And uh, the whole thing about it is, is um, that he's like off his keister. I mean, he's really really gone crazy folks i mean i know i've said he's gone crazy but he, he's lost it and uh not only is he lost it he's beginning to lose even more you know and uh uh today his his uh, latest video which was basically garbage i mean it, it's basically garbage um and uh, he keeps saying that he's talking to lawyers. He has some secret video or audio or something. And uh, he said he's going to play it. He hasn't played it yet. He said he has some lawyer. Nobody has seen this lawyer, heard this lawyer. He's never even seen it, said this lawyer's name. And uh, the whole thing about it is, is that um, he's just out playing uh, games as usual. I mean, just his usual crazy games that he just loves to play. Um what I'm thinking is, um, is probably he has probably found a way to uh, doctor my voice again. Uh, he's done this once before, and I knew he doctored my voice, but I think he's found some way to doctor my voice again or try to imitate my voice. So um, we will see. We will see what what he has, and uh, I guarantee whatever he has is probably doctored, and uh, we will see. Now that's just a theory I got. Um, this is theory I has because he played like this little. It was at the here, and he played something, and it sounded like somebody was talking or something. I mean, I don't know if he was like playing a video of me talking or something, but you know, almost sounded like me. Something. I mean, he didn't play it. He got chicken hearted about it. Didn't play it. You know. Uh, but I'm not worried about Joe because, like I said, this is all he has left. Um, uh, this is it. This is this is everything. And uh. As you can see, he sat here the whole day. All he does is sit here and try and tear us up. Oh, yeah, he, he got something new now. Uh, <laughs> he has my uh, bookmarks, and he went through it. How to fix this site. Uh, where was it? Where was what he said? Uh, buy YouTube views and stuff like that. These are all the stuff. All these bookmarks are the stuff that I bookmark because this is how I report Joe in to... Uh, to uh, YouTube, but letting them know that he, this dude is buying YouTube views and stuff, and 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 I report him in on that. You know, um, that's why I had it bookmarked because he's doing the same thing now with his channel. And somebody told me what he was using, and I bookmarked it, and that's how I got the bookmarks. Um, and really, there's nothing in my bookmarks, so he's going to be flashing those for the next two three weeks. Um, like he did a whole, I think a whole 10 minute segment on him and look, 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 <laughs> look at him and he thinks he got me. I mean, every day he does these videos where he claims he got me and he has the goods on me and, uh, it turns out to be absolutely nothing. Um, whatever he says, or whatever he show you guys is probably from him, doctored by him and trying to propagate his propaganda. Let's go back to his other propaganda when he was trying to say that Jamie Anderson is not real. Now, he kept on saying, Jamie Anderson is not a real person. Jamie Anderson is not a real person. And he said this for a very long time until Jamie Anderson. And, I, and the only person he could be talking to is either Jamie Anderson or that Choi guy. I forgot his name. I think it's Jay Choi or something like that. I forgot his name. But those are basically, you can, you can check them out on uh linkedin you will see that uh mr Choi is a lawyer for epic and joe keeps on going around saying that uh jay Choi and these people don't exist this is joe's doing he went around saying that these people didn't exist i didn't and he's still propagating a lie after he's been contacted um by certain parties to let him know that um, he's not supposed to be doing what he's doing and these lawyers exist Tim Sweeney said it and eventually Shaheel had to say it but Shaheel only said it because they were getting ready to sue him and Shaheel told Joe that yes Jamie Anderson does not exist but Joe didn't ask the question 
But what about J A M E Y Anderson? You know, the one who actually sent Joe the cease and desist. You see, like I said, I'm going to reiterate this one more time. This man's lies destroys things. He almost got Gumroad sued by Epic. Now, that would have been funny because Epic also stated that the reason why they came over to Gumroad is because of him, period. But when they went to Gumroad, they didn't search for True Bones. They went to the Gumroad site and just typed in Fortnite and saw the stuff that was up there that was ripped out of games and everything. And the thing about it is they were only coming over here for Joe. But since they saw all the other stuff up there, <coughs> they decided to take him down too. Now, we saw the other day, well, actually this morning when I went through and saw that my, that, uh, Joe's fake copyright claim was overturned with my counter notification and that's the way it's supposed to work see when I sent my counter notification off it didn't go to Joe it went to YouTube and then YouTube forwarded to Joe and then Joe responded I don't know what Joe responded with but I know whatever Joe said it it took them an extra five six more days to actually see what he said and they probably asked him for proof and then after that the communication with youtube stopped and they wound up saying okay this dude is full of crap and we're going to put his stuff back up and that's that uh i knew my videos were going to be put back up and i knew in the meantime joe was going to start saying they took his stuff down they took his stuff down look at what he took down and i knew he was going to do it i knew he was going to do it and i let him do it and 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 now as you can see he doesn't talk about it no more he doesn't talk about him taking down uh videos off that channel no more he doesn't talk about how uh i think today he tried to go back after uh uh let me see if i can find it let me see google I think uh, he did come back over here and try to go back after uh... <sighs> There you go. So I know he tried to uh, he tried to come back and he tried to go back after this uh, video again. He actually came over here, to, uh, I think today, and actually uh, uh, now he uh, oh my god look at this I'm at twenty I'm almost at three thousand views on this people so uh, so he came back over now as you can tell I have blocked Joe I have blocked Joe from uh, even coming on and posting anything um, so Joe's gonna have to. Uh, you are awesome. Thank you. I uh, got love on all my thing. Uh, 63 likes on this video, and it's been up since July 3rd of 2018. Joe has taken this video down once. He's trying to take it down again. He can't do it. He can't write uh, take down request uh, again on this. Um, because I've already uh I've already disputed, and if one does go through, all I have to do is just dig up the old one and send it to him and let them know like he's already done this before. You know. That's all to it, you know. He can probably he probably can take it down a second time, maybe, maybe not. But when he does, he won't be able to put it back up again. I mean, he won't be able to do nothing else. So he can go and do his threats, and they won't work. I mean, it it, is, it happens all the time. And uh, as I re as I sit in my request. To remonetize my video and make it green again, I send that in, and that's done. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for it to turn yellow, people, for real. That was just what I was waiting for. So, hey, what's up, Chuck? What's up? Uh, do you know this fool tried to say that he actually talked to the lawyers from the people who took his stuff down, and then lied and said that he was going to get it back up? Can you believe him lying about that dude? He lied. I mean, he actually. He, 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 I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess trying to figure out why he would lie like that is funny. You know, because it is. Hold on, I need to cut on my restream thing real quick. I got a good, I got a good twenty minutes to do some to do some talking here. I think I will do me some talking, but I'm being honest with y'all. He actually sit up, sat up there, and and basically lied. Um.
You know, I'm trying to think. Did I? Oh, okay, I ain't worried about it. Because right, if y'all can see me live streaming, um, I know I didn't have to change my stream key. Stream key just stayed the same. I'm cool. Uh, yeah, hold on, man. I need to check and see if I'm on uh, Facebook, though. That's the thing. Am I streaming on Facebook? Cause I forgot to change the stream key. Oh, I'm streaming on Facebook, too. Good. Great. That's awesome. All right. Let me go over here. All right, because if you all right, there you go. So that that takes that takes care of that. So let's go back to the lab dashboard and uh, just just talk about the fool. And uh, like I said, he's gonna try to take this video down again. He can't do it. Um, he's done it already. I have proof that he done it already, and it's proof that uh, you know they're not going to. Oh damn. I mean, we added the fourth one to that. But, uh, yeah, so he's back over here. It's official. We have been Dolphy extorted. Oh, this is this is the same manifesto. I'm not going to worry. I thought he did something new. But, yeah, he, he basically didn't have, I mean, I told you what, I told you all last night before I left you all what his, basically his video is going to be about. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Young Gun's video. Um, that I'm being extorted. Uh, and, and look, look, I found out something new. One Gun uses, uh, bookmarks look at this everybody look at this look look everybody look Th this tells everything oh my gosh oh 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 sweet but jesus oh look what what oh oh uh um yeah uh one one oh scooby-doo scooby-doo yeah that's right uh, scooby-doo everybody yeah one gun scooby-doo oh 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 uh, uh scooby-doo some more scooby-doo um uh uh oh 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 back to gum road back to gum road uh uh yeah yeah uh huh sure uh yeah one gun yeah Scooby Doo one gun uh gum road help yep yeah. uh what else uh uh here we go here he is <laughs> best of true bones so he has he has another one called the best of true bones and it's under this one so i'm going to check out this one i want to check out this uh i think he probably i think he got a lot of these hit a lot of these uh playlists hit i do believe that's what he has the playlist hit so you can't find them but the reason why he's marked this video is because he plans on deleting he's planning on trying to get it taken down so that's why he's that's why he's oh putting it up there so uh when he doesn't like a video i do that's what he does i mean that's why that's why he likes the videos uh, so he can keep track of them. So when he starts filing the scams and fraud or or whatever privacy, fake privacy complaint or, or any type of DMC takedown, it will show up as the video is missing. And then he can do his video. We have to get down. See, one gun that we have uh, removed one gun's videos and one gun is soon to be gone off of YouTube. I mean, yeah, we, we are. I've been through that uh, year two, Joe. Uh, Joe. Um, so... Yeah, so now he's over there on this video, and uh, here's the funny thing about it. he's over here, and uh, he's uh, uh, he's doing his same old spill. I'm going to send him notice. Now, what they mean by sending someone notice is that you have to send them an email. Now, Joe has my email. He the the email for this uh, for the email for this is uh, is 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 in the about section. And he has to send me an email. Um, and one of the reasons why Joe's, well, most of the reasons why Joe copyright fake DMC takedowns or just uh, don't work is because he doesn't uh, he doesn't follow proper procedure and sends me an email and uh, proves to them that we had some type of correspondence. He just comes over here and knowing that I have blocked him and puts up and he know I won't see the message because he's been blocked. You know, he's supposed to send me an email and he has not done it. Uh... Uh, here he is. Here he is again. Here's the little man. Uh, uh, please take, please take this video down. It has materials and artwork that belong to True Bones Motion. Now you report copyright infringement in three days. Okay, we'll see. In th we'll see in three days what happens. We will see in three days. He just, he, I mean, if, if it does go down, all I gotta do is just write, a, or is, is just write a, uh, write a, write a notice, and it, I'll get it down. You know. And I'll actually I'll get it back. <laughs> and here he goes back to being a racist. There he is. 
back to being a racist, back to being a bigot, and this is probably, I mean, he's just going through all of his bigoted stuff right now, I don't, I, I didn't watch the video, I'm just going through, oh, look, everybody, I'm Jabba the Hutt, ha, 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 yeah, okay, oh, Scooby-Doo again, Scooby-Doo, um, Jabba the Hutt, um, puppets, uh, oh, oh, it's, it's Aunt Jemima, Miss Butterworts, okay, more racist, oh, no, look, everybody, Joe's funny, you were cracking up now, because he's doing, he's saying one gun is Mrs. Butterworth, oh, no, we got one gun, and he starts marking more videos, then he comes over here and see that the copy, I got my video back up from the copy, from copy counter notifications after he took it down, and, uh, as you can see, he's, uh, he's just, uh, having a blast, and here he is, uh, look, watching how he failed to take this video down, and let's see what 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 else is he doing? Uh, we're not gonna listen to him today, folks. And look at him; he's looking at the channel that he's trying to take down, but it's not going nowhere. Um, let's see what else we got here, folks. And he goes back. See, he's he ran out of talking points, so he comes back over here to my bookmarks and he looks at him. He looks at him. He looks at him. I have him now, people. I have him. Ha ha ha. Then he goes. So one thing uh, he tries to look for is uh, is an art book that I that I had uh, bookmarked. And the art book was basically the Afro Samurai. Uh, Afro Samurai. Um, uh, it was a it was an Afro Samurai art book from the cartoon Afro Samurai, which appeared on TV. And if anybody know what Afro Samurai is, they will know what it was. And so Joe looks up here and he types in Afro Samurai because obviously he's he, he's he's not hip on nothing. So he uh, he uh, comes over here and uh, he fails. I think he fails right here. Afro Samurai sex scene. Afro. So he types in Afro Samurai Triple X, which is not what I was looking for. But it says Afro Samurai sex scene, free porn videos, you porn. Afro Samurai sex scene. Afro Dojin is so Joe's showing you something that's not what I had marked down. Joe added the triple X, whatever. I don't care. But the book is on eBay. You type in Afro Samurai. I think it's Afro Samurai Resurrection, whatever, and you will see the art books there. But it's no sex. It's just from it's just artwork from the actual anime, you know, that was on TV. So here he is again. He's back over here. I don't know what he's, what's he doing over here because this place is going to be gone soon. Uh, then he comes and looks and says, he's not working in the movie. And uh, just keeps on. And then then he, he plays this. And I don't know what it is. But whoever he plays, I guarantee has nothing to do with me. You know, last time he did something like this, it was some doctored audio of me that he made. You know, he basically uh, copy almost copied my voice, almost, but uh, it didn't work because uh, I showed it to Lori. Lori said, "Yeah, that's that's uh, that's slander." <laughs> so, Joe, if you're making false recordings of me or you being doctored uh, voices of me, dude, that's uh, slander and that is liable in court. That is, you can't you can't do that, Joe. But that's okay. I'm going to let him have his little fun um, of what fun he has. Because if, as you can tell, um, I'm having fun because of this, folks. There are no infomercials on Joe's channel anymore. There are no more. They're all gone. All the infomercials are gone. Um, and when you go over here to his... Uh, uh, what's the name of this thing called? Uh, True Bones and Gumroad? <sighs> All you see is the same stolen content. There's nothing new over here. I do believe I did get rid of uh, a video he had from Disney. On oh, I was think it was Elastigirl the girl because I reported him. Now not not this, but this should have a video for it. Oh, oh. Okay. See what Joe has done. Joe has hit all his videos. Joe hasn't really hit his videos from me. They're just unlisted. <laughs> They're just unlisted videos, and this video right here is going to get him in trouble. 
Oh yeah. Oh yes. And it's an unlisted video, so you can still see the video. So that's what Joe basically did. Well, I mean, he put he got some of his videos up. I put them unlisted, like the app solver stuff back up. Um, what else he put up here? Uh, the free Atlas stuff. Like when you see, uh, like like he he had to make his videos unlisted, but that still leaves him vulnerable. Because let me tell you what, um, all I have to do is come over here to True Bones, this open store, and click on the videos and get the link that that brings me right to the copyright infringed works that he uh actually has and just report those links in you know and then uh like i did with autodesk and all the rest of them i had uh went and um found all of his pages where he serves um where he serves up all these links to come to gumroad on facebook and i just sent all that stuff so they're going to be contact they should be going to contact facebook and letting them know about him selling their stuff and then i also got to uh also contact unreal engine and let them know that uh well contact epic again is like you know he's advertising the uh, content for unreal engine um that uh all the game assets that he has stolen from other places because that's another thing he can't use unreal engine in his little ad up here he can't use matter of fact he can't use none of these people's stuff because um he's not certified he's not a certified vendor from them nope your stuff has to be approved, buddy. Yep, I just found this out the other day. So Joe will be involved. Three assets. Um, I don't know about iClone. I think iClone just don't wouldn't care. But uh, I need to contact these people. Let them know he's uh, using your name to advertise uh, fake, false, and erroneous content and assets for your software. And it would be good if uh, to help people out and not be confused to make him stop using you all in his ads and that's what he's doing see the thing is is to peel back joe's uh peel back joe's theft one piece at a time eventually you're going to get to the core and we with the core you'll just have to just you know crush it you know when we finally get to the core but right now we're just doing this piece by piece and uh as you can see, uh, whatever happened to if you feel like true, if you feel like our content is infringing upon your copyright, what happened to that, Joe? Hey, one more thing, Joe. What happened to True Bones Legal? Where is True Bones? I just see TrueBones.com. Where's True Bones Legal at, Joe? Um, <laughs> a leader in world. Try contact. Let's see, contact the. Uh, oh, here it is. Here is Inquiry is legal at True Bones. So here's Mr. Bones. Uh, he's no longer using the peak levels now. He's no longer using peak levels to answer his emails. He's using Mr. Bones now at True Bones. Uh, but peak levels at Yahoo is his official email. Um, it seems like uh, yeah, he still has the White Lake, Michigan address. And as you can see right here. You can actually, because uh, that's his address right there. I mean, he sat back and removed his address here, but you can actually take this and hit Google Maps and then go, uh, like, type this into Google Maps, and you can actually find the actual address of where this uh, location icon is. So, yeah, so he has to fix that now. Um, but there's a store. As you see, he is. this is supposed to be a store, but he's not selling nothing here. There's nothing for sale here. You have to go to Gumroad. So everything that Joe does is all centered around Gumroad. All the stuff he's stolen is centered around Gumroad, and that's what we're working on. We're working on getting rid of Gumroad, and, and, and it's it's happening. We just got to work a little bit. We just got to just got to put that extra off in it. Uh, this is his, uh, this is where he steals other people's videos and claims that True Bones had something to do with it, which it did not. True Bones had nothing to do with this. So he calls me a fake fraud and a phony, but he is the actual fake fraud and phony because here you have Elastigirl up here dancing with stolen game content off of other out of other game assets you can tell this is the ripped game character out of the disney game you can tell you can obviously see that he does nothing but use ripped game characters out of other games and uh you can you can look there's mr incredible and he actually just just decided he was going to steal all this stuff package it up and sell it you know that's what he does he's a crook and then when you talk about it, he does videos. He does this. He does all these videos about you. He makes transsexual 
porn out of you. He uh, makes all these videos. He makes uh, videos calling you gay and transgendered and all the other stuff. And uh, it goes on and on and on and on. And it's because he knows he can't stop what I'm doing. He can't stop it. All he can do is sit back and actually threaten me like he did in yeah. here. Bro. Samurai. He's still looking. He's still looking for Afro Samurai porn. X X X. <laughs> he's not going to find what he's looking for. What? No, dummy. Yeah. So let's let's go and pull that bookmark out. Let's pull that bookmark out real quick. Bookmark. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm where is it? Afro GPU True Bones Christmas sale over. <laughs> yeah, it is over. Uh clothing, baby Afro Studio, Swap Disney Company, Walt Disney, Record a Pro, Female, Intellectual Property, Theft Privacy, FBI, Joe McPeak Store on uh, Your Illusion, True Bones Thread Me Again, Pirate One Oh yeah, that, that video's gone. Um Deals Cyber Stalking Laws in Missouri. Online harassment, cyberstalker privacy, from chain gunmaster, novelty tingu. Yeah, I kind of figured he was gonna do that. Um, where is it? Blender, add on box, Macross, Macross, Autodesk. I think it's somebody here somewhere. Um, laptop, Acer, Epic Games, Support Center. Uh, where is it? Afro Samurai. There it is. Afro Samurai Mannix. That's what it is. Here it is. Here it is, folks. Oops, wrong thing. And it will some reason we'll call. Okay. This is what the fool this is what I looked at. It's called Afro Samurai Mannix. This is from the link. And it is the Afro Samurai visual book of resurrection animation sheets, manga, and everything. It's in sixty-five dollars a year. This is what he looked for. It's a uh, Afro Samurai Mannix. Now, what he's looking at? Oh, I don't think that's the right one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I gotta go and look for this again. All right, so what he's looking at is what I think it is. I, there it is. So let's see if I can lift this up because he was looking for it. Where is it? This is this this is man's for her. It is. I think it's right here. Here it is. As you, can, as you can see right here, it says Afro Samurai M A N I A X X X Visual Book Resurrection Anime. All right, so this is how he uh, does his little slide of hand. This is the book that I was that I'm getting ready. I well, I was getting ready to buy for my birthday, but I bought something else. But uh, yeah, so this book is basically artwork from the animation Afro Samurai. Now, when you look up Afro Samurai, you will most likely get this. Afro Samurai is a Japanese uh, Sen and Doshin manga series written and illustrated by manga artist Takashi Okana Okaza. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that name. It was originally serialized irregularly in the Avant Garde Doshin magazine, magazine, uh, manga magazine. Nawa Nawa Hao uh, from November 1988, 1998 to September 2002. Episode 5, Original Network, Fuji TV, Seven Seas Entertainment is the publisher, Studio Gonzo, producers, the producer, uh, whatever. And uh, here's the other stuff this guy made. This guy made Zeta Man, Elf and Lied. I started watching that. I never finished it. Uh, Cannon Buster. Uh, he worked on Cannon Busters and a whole bunch of stuff. Everybody knows Cannon Busters. So the same guy who worked on the anime worked on Afro Samurai. Well, Afro Samurai had two movies. It was Afro Samurai uh, and Afro Samurai Resurrection. So this is it. This is a clip from it right here. 
what is uh is Afro Samurai Japanese? Blah blah blah. Afro Samurai style last. Okay, so this is all information. Now, what he's looking at, he's looking at a way to take something, and and like I said, this is exactly what it is. If you read it, it says Afro Samurai Maddox Visual Book. So if we type in, let's let's type in exactly M A N I. Man, how do I spell it? M A N I A X X uh, X. Type in this. I think that's right. Type in V I S U A visual. What's it called? Visual what? Visual book. Let's type in visual B O O K. And let's see what comes up. And you will see it right here. Afro Samurai Maddox uh, visual book. Afro Samurai uh, anime art book. Otaku.com. So you would you see a listing for the art books. If you were to take off the rest of what was here, you would probably get the same results as Joe probably did. But as you can see, um, you don't. You still get the listings for the visual anime book. The visual... Uh, the visual book, the visual uh, art book, which is right here on Afro Samurai. Now, what the buffoon did? Let's see, where did he do it at? Okay, I gotta find, I gotta catch him while I gotta catch him while he's uh while he's acting a fool. Here it is. I think it's right here. Oh, he's looking okay. up Bad King. That's okay. I'm not a babysitter, folks. No, you're not. You're uh, you're a moron. Z and he thought he thought Bad King was porn. That's, Did that's, we ever go see what Bad King is? Yeah. H. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How and many show you later. Oh well, I misspelled it and said oh fickle. Complaining Joe took my stuff down. Where is it? We just copyright. Saw it, folks. All right. What else we got here? Uh, robot. See. Tengu for cyber. 3D load. Max HD Mega Pack for the Brute Eight, True Bones on the web, horrible subs, so bad yet so good. Nobody wants to be a bad king. Um, three um, Fortnite enemies. In um, what is bad king? What? No, there it dummy. Is. There it is, everybody. See. X. So here, so here you go with his slide of hand. X he types in Afro Samurai. And he types in Afro Samurai Triple X. Now, he has the correct spelling. Now, you saw that he had the correct spelling for this. You saw that he had everything he needed to type it in. But instead, he decides to type in this. A-F-R-O-S-A-M-U-R-A-I. And he didn't type in the Mannix. He just typed in XXX. And then here he goes. Oh, no, look. Oh, look. Oh, it's porn. And, and, and that's how he works. That's his sleight of hand. That's him distorting the truth from what it was. That's how he distorts the truth. Just like when he typed in Bad King, he found Bad King was no nothing to be concerned with. But that's just the way he works, folks. He can't tell the truth, even when we can see the truth for ourselves. He has to pull a slight of hand to show you all to, to, to degrade my character. That's his fog of war. That's him trying to pull a fog of war. That's why it's just like people keep saying, why do you keep making videos? It's because of stuff like this. It's because if you let him get away with it, he will go all around the internet lying about you under different alts and names. So if you don't put this stuff out there, to let people know that he's lying, well, then he gets away with it. See, I have to watch him like like a guardian or something to make sure he doesn't go around and try and defame me because I did that once. I ignored him once, and it didn't do me no good because all he was able to do was just take down a couple of my YouTube channels, run over to Real Illusion, and try to convince them that I did something that I didn't. And uh, he did a whole plethora of stuff, which cost me a little, but once I stopped it, he couldn't do it no more. And as you can see, he's doing the same tactics, and I'm used to him doing this. 
I'm used to him doing this. And 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 I know Joe likes to pull these sleight of hands. So his whole thing is to say, call me a pedophile because I watch. I, I mean, I watch anime, so he calls me a pedophile. So I guess like all, like almost every child under the age of 14 are pedophiles compared. I mean, because you say that people who watch anime basically are pedophiles. Um, when you, my friend, watch what's the name? I can't. I don't know, but if it, it, it was a uh, Piper Burn, I mean, this dude has a whole list full of Piper Burn stuff. You know, the person who makes the Piper Burn uh, videos is a pedophile, and he's on Twitter, and he was busted being a pedophile. But Joe has a whole playlist that it's hidden now. It's hidden now of Piper Burn stuff in it. I mean, he. I mean, I think that's the most uh, his second biggest uh, playlist is the Piper Burn stuff. I found this out through Mr. Todd Fox because Todd Fox told me about it. And I was like, "Who's or what is a Piper Burns?" And they told me he's like Piper Burns is this guy who makes these videos from this girl, and it, and he puts them out in order to get other pedophiles to I don't know, follow him I'm not sure what's going on but that's what he told me and I was like I don't know if that's true but I checked into it's like oh wow this was a controversy a little while ago and Joe's watching all the videos and it's been confirmed the guy that is a pedophile who makes those videos and, he, and he's on Twitter and they call the guy sick and he, that's sick and Joe has these videos and then Joe tries to compare me with him by actually taking the actual name of the art book and excluding some letters the M A N I A and just puts the triple X behind it and then he puts it up there and say look everybody at two when gun was a pervert look at this and 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 you can tell that's what he did I mean you can I mean you can tell um when he says it, this better not be what I think it is. No, it's just it's just your your your. Yeah, See, so here we go. So here here he is typing it in. Um, here it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just keep this for reference. Uh, where where's my what's the name at? I'm just gonna keep this for reference right here. Because this is gonna come up again soon, and uh. And I got to make sure his face is there because if any rumor gets started up, I know he did it. And then I have the video proof of, uh, I want to actually uh, download the video too. Why not? Save that. And then let's, let's actually get him typing in. In the uh, triple X visual book. Now he said it was Afro Samurai Triple X uh, Mania Triple X video book Manix Resurrection Tri Anime Afro Samurai XXX and, and 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 there you go Afro Samurai XXX Now you heard him say it Now here we mm, go again This better not be what I think it is I clone an FBX format This better not be what I think it is Okay, so you see how he builds it up. This better not be what I think it is. We're 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 getting deep into the the mystery of one gun. We're trying to prove that he's something that he's not, and and that's what he does. I mean, that's that's what he's trying to do. So now I'm gonna just uh, videotape him actually typing this in, F and look what he does. Samurai XXX XXX. Now he just said it was Afro Samurai Manix visual book right right <laughs> right i'm just breaking down i mean this is an obvious slide and i'm just breaking it down to you guys i'm just breaking it down how his how he tries to lie to distract from him getting owned by epic you know he's he's trying to like i mean he's he's done everything today i mean he's actually done everything he possibly could today to distract but the hardcore truth is is that he got spanked by epic so let's go ahead with with with, with the with the building up of the lie because i do believe by next episode that joe does he's gonna go around maybe even going around and saying this guy watches afro samurai porn watch he's going to do it i've seen him do this before what no dummy 
So he purposely typed the Afro Samurai name in incorrectly from what I was watching to something that was pornographic. You can take the word Bugs Bunny and put three X's behind it and find porn on that. Guarantee it. Um, but if you just typed in Bugs Bunny, you would just probably find the character Bugs Bunny, who was created by, um, who owns the rights to it, Warner Brothers. You'll probably find that type of stuff. But if you type in Bugs Bunny, triple X behind it, of course you're going to find porn because triple X is an identifier for pornography, X-rated material. Anytime you put an X behind something in a search engine, most likely the porn is going to show up. But if you just put Afro Samaraptor by itself, he would have saw that it's an anime, and that's it. And and, and here is Joe. Joe is uh, up here, and you see YouPorn, Pornhub, XVideos.com. Uh, <laughs> you see him doing everything possible to start the narrative. See, this is how you start a false narrative, and that is to take something that's the honest truth and bend it to fit whatever you're trying to say about that person and they do it they do it in politics all the time and you see this person doing it in real time right here you see him doing this in real time so let's go on with the lie it is oh hold up It's kitty porn. And there you have it. There you have him starting the narrative. Oh, well, we found this in One Gun's uh, uh, bookmark, so let's see what it is. And instead of typing the whole word out, he decided to type it, in, type it into the search engine in a way that porn will actually come in. So if I just come up here and let's type in... Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. But <laughs> I was typing in just to see something. To see, oh, hold on. Let's, maybe I typed in too many X's. Hold on. Wow. I didn't know this. Instant, instant, just from the Peak 60 Public Records. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I typed in Joseph L. McPeak triple X and, and look what came up. Registered sex offenders in Monroe, Michigan crimes listed. Oh my gosh. Look at this, everybody. We found Joseph L. McPeak and under his name in the search engine, we saw registered sex offenders in Monroe, Michigan. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, we found arrest records when we typed in Joseph L. McPeak, everyone. Oh, no. Oh wow! Um, pfft. oh man, that pfft. I knew it! I knew it! He 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 he's a stalker. He well, look at this. Oh well, we know he's a stalker, but he's uh, look at this. Register sex offenders database. He's listed in Michigan on the sex offenders database. Oh my gosh! Uh, look, look everybody. Joseph L. McPeak, fifty years old, registered sex offender in Mid Oh my gosh, it's Joseph L. McPeak. So the same thing can be done to him also, using the same type of uh. Uh, a slanted false narrative uh, facts creation like he's doing. All he's doing is creating false facts, folks. That's all he's doing. And he's been doing this for like the last three days, ever since last Thursday when I showed him that his, his stuff was gone off of uh, <laughs> off of uh, uh, the website. So he's he's pretty, he's still mad. That he can't put the stuff back up, but I guarantee you it's gonna be more videos again, people, of him. Uh, he's got my emails, the bookmarks, and he's he's gonna just flood you with just plain and st simple stupidity. You know, that's that's all he's going to do. But I have something else for you guys um, today before I leave, before I get off, um, and that is my where is it? That is my new Discord channel. I have a brand new Discord server, and uh, you all can join it. I'm gonna 
uh, I'm gonna get the link in the description don't worry about it I'm gonna do a whole new clean video because I think this whole era of true troll is over with I think this whole uh, this I think what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I'm going to do new stuff that has nothing to do with Joe on this channel and the reason why I'm not walking away from Joe is that he is too much of a big part of this channel I need to limit his exposure by stop by talking about him less and basically just find some way to just not talk about him no more because I know it's hard to not talk about him when he does stuff like this trying to um, push out a false narrative to try to uh, defame you in public because there is no false narrative when you come to Joe. It's the actual facts. And what he tries to do is that he wants for every time I say something about him, for him to say the exact same thing back. But he can't. Only thing he could do is make it up. He took an art book that I was going to buy legally buy filled with uh, stuff from afro um anime it's got animation sale it comes with an animation sale it comes with artwork uh from the uh film it comes with a lot of stuff it's a really nice book um and i'm um, since i do draw and i'm an artist i do use this stuff so my whole thing is uh my whole thing is uh is to not fall into this fool's see it's nothing but an art book i wish i hope oh, okay. yeah so it's, it's nothing but art but this is all you're going to see in it i know if anybody saw afro samurai no okay so if anybody uh you know get this book they would know uh that it is the afro samurai anime book and everybody knows what Afro Samurai is. You know, it was uh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the of the TV show it was on, but it was a very nice. Uh, here is very. It was a very nice art, very nice art book, and uh, I like the art style. I like the I like the I like the art style, and uh, uh, I still might buy it. You know, it's like sixty five dollars euros. That might cost like a hundred and something hard money. But yeah, it has some nice stuff. Um, it was an, it was a rated R movie, so yes, there was a sex scene, but there was not a pornography scene in it. There were, um, I mean, this was an adult anime. If you watch Ninja Scroll, it's on about the same level as Ninja Scroll, you know. So the whole thing about it is, is that um, this anime is not for kids. It's violent, and uh, it's violent, and it's made for older audience, and. Uh, and uh, to call it porn is just belittling the work that went into making this great anime. And it was a great anime. You know, it's not porn. Um, it's just that the person that's after me right now and trying to find some way to get back at me because I've, I've basically decimated his whole way of making money um, off of stolen content. He wants to build some type of false narrative of me. Uh, out in the public and it didn't work before and it's not going to work again and uh, as you heard him call me a pedophile and actually calling somebody a pedophile out proof is against the law too you're not supposed to do that but that's okay it all it all finds I found files I mean <laughs> false under the liable slander laws which he is in violation of and uh, I but that's more of a civil type of law that's more of a civil type of lawsuit versus uh uh, some type of lawsuit like like the one thing that I want to do is the thing is is to get Joe in jail or something like that for what he's doing and the only way I feel that I can do that is to uh, go the route that I've been going on the uh, copyright infringement and the illegal use of the copyright law Joe has violated that law 22 times and I think he's on I think he is he is committed a felony and he will get prison time once everything is done so I'm not too worried about him uh, calling me pedophile or calling me anything because I know I'm not those things I've never been one you know uh, him calling me a transsexual I've never been one and it doesn't hurt me um, and him doing all this stuff but one thing is when you lie Joe to make sure you do a good lie you know, make sure you do a really good lie. Make a lie that I can't possibly 
come back and, and, and debunk within oh, 15, 10 or 15 minutes. And that's all about time that I use to debunk this whole thing. And if you take out everything else I talked about today. But every day I have to give my commentary on one of his videos because all he does is lie. Lie, lie, and threat. Every video he has up here, uh, since he took down everything else, it's just a lie, lie, threat, lie, 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 and a threat. Lie, 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 and a threat. That's all he does every day. And uh, I would say uh, my channel is still here. He hasn't done nothing. The only thing he does is just demonetize my videos. But like I said, even if you demonetize the video, I still get money for him. I still get paid for him. YouTube changed their policy. So just because you get yellow ball doesn't mean you're not going to make no money. It's just that you're going to get a different set of advertisers who pay about the same money. That's it. That's it, Joe. So you lost again. You lost and every day you make a video like this where you make me your sit a point you've lost because you have nothing he actually tried to do a video on music but he was so hurt by what I by me turning him in to the rightful authorities to the people who own the content that he couldn't make music today he couldn't do it he couldn't make no music he can't he can't he can't do what he claimed he can do and and he had to just rant about me for hours and hours and hours and i i find that if he can do that i mean i find that very successful if <laughs> somebody sitting sit somewhere in the middle of the day and rant about me and about how much he's lost to me and, and that's all he does he just talks about how much he, he's lost to me and he's lost I mean, he sat back there and took pride when he's taking my videos down, and he got he. I can't post no videos from this channel on Real Illusion. I mean, he was so prideful and and saying what he was going to do and all his other stuff. And then now, look at him now. He's basically blackballed. He can't go nowhere but to Gumroad to sell his stolen stuff, and that's going to be ending soon. You know, and like I told Joe, I'm gonna get that Fortnite stuff off one way or another. I mean, I may not be getting the other stuff off anytime soon, but I say, you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about the other stuff and just worry about the Fortnite stuff because these guys went after a 14 year old kid. What makes them think they go after a 53 year old man who actually truly did something that they can sue him for? And the thing about it is, Joe almost got Joe almost got uh, Gumbro <laughs> sued right along with them. And now Gumroad treats, treats him like a red-headed stepchild. They don't even want to talk to him. Every time he talks to them, they say, please go and read our terms of service. <laughs> you see, and that's why he doesn't even do videos, though, boy, of him actually going over to... <coughs> what is... Well, who, who is well, what is this Black some Studios series? Post your web series below. Oh, post my web series. Okay, I'm gonna post my web series down here. What was I? What was that? I was talking about the loser here. Okay, so yeah, so that that's that's basically that's basically it, folks. Um, that's basically it, folks. He's 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 lost. He's sad. You know, he gets up like six o'clock in the morning. Now it's it's like his full time job to come over here. Uh, and he makes these videos like that's kind of many he's made today, folks. He's count made one, two, three. He's made three videos about me today alone, folks. Three videos, three videos. And then he comes back over here and runs over here and like he's Wingens me though these videos about me. No, Joe, these are all the response videos. I have to keep up with you, dude. Let's let's go back. Let's let's count all the videos I had to make responses to because of you, man. Look. And some of them you just straight up hit. <laughs> but look, all, I have to make response videos. I mean, when you go dormant and you disappear for weeks at a time, and then somebody told me that you're actually, when you disappear off of YouTube for two or three weeks, somebody said you're in rehab. I just laughed it off. And then I'm like, you know what? That's probably it. That's probably could be it. But check your chat. Hey, Pollywick, how's it going? How's it going, Polywick? Anything new? I should have had this up. Nope, wrong thing. Um, where is it? This one. Hey, Polywick, how's it going? 
See, Plywood Studios in the house, folks. Um, if you don't know, Poly Plywood Studio is owned. Yeah, he 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 claims he's an artist. He's he's not. I mean, he has no portfolio. He has no proof that he's an artist. He 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 claims he makes artwork. He doesn't do nothing. This man's what you would call a leech. He he, he steals stuff and, and and resells it. And then he goes after people. Um, he's a racist and a bigot. We, that's been proven time after time. No need to show the video proof because we know. He even did a little racist thing today where he actually like did the uh, beaten slave thing again. You know? And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I, I wish I could uh, get you... Uh, in the live stream, but um, I, I asked you, uh, uh, Sally, um, Joe has been harassing you about as long as he's been harassing me. And you know, and I know, uh, Jamie Anderson exists, right? Because um, Joe actually showed um, uh, emails where uh, we actually got a call from him and we actually talked to this man. Now, I didn't record the conversation because I felt like I didn't have to, you know, because it wasn't necessary. But we did talk to him. And Joe got on today claiming, once again, lying. When Joe makes a claim, that means he's getting ready to lie to you, that he talked to an epic lawyer who actually sent him the DMCA takedown notice. And we know anybody who sends anything from epic... Anybody who sends anything from Epic knows who sent what and who's filing what. All right. Now, Jamie Anderson is a contractor working for Epic. That's what we know. All right. Um, Joe has been contacted by Jamie and told by Jamie to take the stuff off of the website. All right. So when I talk to Jamie... At the time, um, Joe had took the stuff down. This is when they sent the, the, the DMC they take down those. Now, they never sent Joe a second one. They only sent one. They only sent one after that. They were sending him warnings. And what happened was is that um, uh, Joe would take the stuff down, and then he would put it back up 48 hours. The last time, it was that last time when, when the stuff got taken down, Joe put it back up four hours. Actually, Joe put it up while I did a video, while I was doing a video about him. And 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 that's when that was the day that I had the call with Jamie. All right, that was the call. This day I had the call, the phone call with Jamie. And 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 uh, I told Jamie on the phone, uh, and I said, "Hey, you know the stuff is back up." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, well, I know, you know." I was like, "It's like." And then we went to talked about some other stuff, but the main thing at the end of it, and I basically told him is like, "If you're gonna do it, go after everything. You know, go after the people who's hosting this stuff. Go after, go after YouTube. Uh, go after, go after everybody. Make it so that they have no reason or no ability but to take down the stuff." Now, I wasn't telling him what to do. I wasn't giving him advice. But I was just saying, you know, to deal with somebody like this who just has no regard for the law whatsoever, that's what you have to do. You know? You know, I mean, you're the lawyer. I, I mean, you're the one who's going to be doing this, not me. I can't do it. I mean, if you guys really want to protect your stuff, you got to start somewhere. You got to start with him. And then they did. They went over there and they started with Joe. And then once they got the investigation on, they found out that they had so much stolen Fortnite content on Gumroad. It wasn't funny. They had so much that even Cheryl herself said, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Yes, it was. It was stuff that I warned them about. I warned them. I, I told them. I didn't threaten them. I was just helping him out. I was like, listen, you got this guy selling stolen stuff over here. And he's going to bring probably Epic of all people you don't want suing you over here. And they didn't listen to me. They listened to Joe. Call me a fake lawyer. Call me, a, 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 say I have a grudge against him. They listened to him for three whole years. And I let Joe do his little thing. And while Joe was doing his little thing, going over there, 
uh, making uh, nasty racist videos about me and all this other crap. You know, I was constantly working diligently to get to get him removed. See, the whole thing is the whole thing about Gumroad is, and, and and this is what I knew what was going to happen is basically uh, they I needed to find somebody who Joe has stolen from who don't who will follow through hey what's up Eve bat uh, Joe has been doing this for over 10 years now he could have taught himself to actually animate and that's true that is so honorably true but he chooses not to you know he chooses not to but the thing is, is that um, now it's getting to a point that's getting harder for him. See, I want to make things harder for him. I want to make it hard just like it's hard for me to have a successful YouTube channel. I want to make it hard for him to be a successful pirate. You know, he could have actually learned how to make this stuff himself. All the stuff he's stolen, he could have learned how to do that stuff himself. But why try to learn something when you can steal it? And it's funny. It's it's hilarious that he tries to play. <laughs> same here, I know. Uh, he tries to play this role as the victim. You know, if you notice every video he's made in the last month and a half, it's all about him playing the role of a victim. When he's the victimizer himself, when he goes around victimizing people, making racist epithets towards them, um, stalking them, um, raiding their Facebook pictures and profiles, um, friending them under different alts, uh, chasing them all around the Internet. I mean, uh, come on. Come on. And then he comes up with this sorry excuse of being a human being by saying that he's a victim. No, Joe. No, my friend. That doesn't work. No, that, that doesn't fly anymore. I have proven, without a shadow of a doubt, over these last past four years, that you, my friend, are the one who's the pirate, the thief, the crook, the charlatan, the buffoon, who tries to capture an artist, I mean, not an artist, but an audience with his racial epithets slurs terrorism and harassment and say your only reason why you're doing this is because of what because they've done something to joe no one's done nothing to joe because joe's doing all to himself nobody told joe to go and download stuff repackage it and resell it no one's told joe to sit back and terrorize people and harass people no one's told joe to do any of this stuff joe has done this all on his own so that is what made people think is Joe mentally retarded what's wrong with Joe Joe is obviously doing this stuff but he says he's not doing this stuff and then he says someone else is doing this stuff now how can that be how can one gun the man you hate so much and we know you hate we know you hate me Joe we know he can't tell the difference between the person Alvin Snurling and one gun, it's because he lives in a false narrative reality. Joe knows who I am. He pretends he don't. Joe knows that I won that contest for Square, but he pretends that I didn't. And the reason why somebody would go to this extreme to do what he's doing is because he hates me. And the thing about it is, do I care? And the answer is, no, <laughs> I don't care if Joe hates me. Joe can hate me. Joe has every right to hate anything he wants to. He can hate another human being, animal, food, or whatever. That's him. But he needs to keep it to himself. He doesn't need to go back and take down my channels or take down videos or spread lies about me. He doesn't have to do that. He can just talk about he hates me and why he hates me. But what he does is he does he does the one thing he always does he hides the fact that he really hates me this guy really hates me and he lies and he does stuff that's the sure sign of someone hating someone but Joe is a coward Joe would never admit that he hates me because when Joe admits finally admits that he hates me 
that's really going to hurt his narrative of trying to say I'm something that I'm not. Because only people who hate each, hate somebody that much is going to sit back and lie and lie on them. Make stuff up so you can hate that person too. But Joe has failed at getting people to hate me. I got more people on my side than Joe realized. See, Joe think it's just Jed and Benjamin Tuttle and 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 uh, Sally and, and just a few handful of people. But Joe, there's a lot of people who actually believe in what I do. Actually what what, what um, actually watch what I do. And it's only because that you are always there. You are always there watching. Watching me, watching who I talk to, that people like I like one gun stuff. And I've heard this from people I hold it from a lot of people like, you know what, we love one gun stuff. The problem is is that Wherever one gun goes, his shadow follows him. You know, and it's true. Joe follows me everywhere. Because Joe's Joe's looking for something that he'll never find. And that's his false equivalency. That's his false equivalent. I mean, Joe's the only person that says nasty stuff about me nobody else says nasty stuff about me but Joe and that's because I took away a lot from Joe in this last past couple of years Joe only has taken like YouTube channels I'm taking money from Joe I'm taking away I'm I'm nipping and napping at every little penny he's making off his stolen content I'm the only one who's been successful at doing it because everybody's been doing it the wrong way, in my opinion. And what I mean by the wrong way is what I was told when all this shit began. Just ignore him. He'll go away. No. No, he won't. No, he won't. You see, I hurt Joe really bad back when he was on Sketchfab and I got him booted off of there. That really hurt him. That 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 hurt his money a lot because then Joe had to find a new place to prop himself up with. So he went over to Gumroad and now he's over at Gumroad and I get, did it again to him. And 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 oh, well, actually first it was his Sketchfab, then it was his actual first YouTube channel that I took away that he claimed today he's going to get back. He's not going to get that channel back. He's not. He's not. Uh, and then he says he's going to get a whole bunch of other stuff back. He's not. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get it because I know. I work every day to make sure he doesn't get that stuff back because he doesn't need it. Because only thing he used that stuff for was to fuel his hate, his bigotry, and his nonsense, and his harassment, and his terrorism. That's what he uses his stuff for. Nothing else. Why and what the why am I fighting this dude on YouTube? I should be out here getting these getting lawyers together and people together to to shut down his operation. That's what I've done, and it's gonna come in two parts. The first part, getting the Fortnite stuff off of his Gumroad. The second part is then getting the Autodesk stuff off of his Gumroad, and I'm working on that right and right now as we speak, folks. Um, right now as we speak. So if Joe if Joe think if Joe's thinking that uh, nothing else is coming off his page, well, he better think again. He better think again. It's going to be some more stuff coming off his page. And uh, I'm going to do it the right way. And I've always said I'm going to take care of Joe the right way. Because if I was to go out and do the same thing Joe doing, I would never get rid of Joe. Because Joe would have a way to get out of the trouble I got him in. But if I did it the right way and contact and took my time, called these people, got one-on-one on their IP divisions and talk to them and let them know what he's doing I'll be more successful not only getting rid of him but getting rid of him for good to where he can't come back and that's what's going to ha- that's what's happening that's what's happening now as we speak and like I said this is not happening today this is not happening tomorrow but down the road within my lifetime I guarantee you True Bones is going to be a myth He's gonna go from a legend of the of the worst pirate <laughs> of the internet to a myth of the where he will be forgotten. I mean, so and then soon he'll go from myth to being forgotten. 
everybody I know, but I would become a legend because I was the one who actually stood up to him. I've had people I'm, uh, I met good friends with on the internet, and they these people don't talk to me because of him, because he's always there. He's always there, and, and if I talk to somebody, okay, so I'm talking to Eve Bat, I'm talking to Charles Jenkins, I'm talking to all you guys right now, right? You guys appeared in my chat box. He will come after you. He's probably right now looking you guys up. He's trying to find out who you are on Facebook, who you are on Instagram, who you are any place that he can find where he can find a way to get at you. And that's what he's going to do. That's why people don't don't really come and talk to me because of him. But I don't let that get to me because I know if I keep doing what I'm supposed to do, if I keep working, if I keep working on my content, getting my animations out and my artwork out and only worry about him when I have to, I know I'm being successful. I'm being successful now, you know, because I've done my work on my, on my, uh, on my models and stuff for the week. I've done all that stuff. I'm, I'm packing, I'm getting ready. I'm packaging my stuff up for the second, uh, for the second outfit for my character creator stuff, you know, for my content, I'm, become, I'm, I'm learning how to be a good content creator, you know? Um, and, uh, that comes after the fact of the fact that Joe once again is trying to uh, defame me, and he did. He 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 tried to, uh, he, and I I went through here as slow as I possibly could to explain to you all how this man projects a lie. You know how he tried to lie, and how he uh, typed this in. Knowing he had the uh, the wrong result, just so he could say, "Oh, look at this, look at this," and then I did the same thing to him. Rest of sex offenses, offender. I mean, it's it's easy to manipulate information and do a sleight of hand. You know, it's easy to do that. The thing about it is, Joe did it. Through. Joe does it in a way that you know it's what he's doing is obviously not. In the same realm of reality, but you, but him trying to take you to his reality, basically, him trying to get you believe what he believes, which is nonsense. You know, I mean, I I could have talked about Joe being a crook, a thief, but I rather talk about Joe being the liar that he is, and how I just like tore apart his his little little episode of being a liar. Now, this isn't something that's hurting me, but this is just something I'm just showing you all. Because Joe's, Joe has called me a lots of things. He's called me a pedophile. He's called me a whole bunch of stuff. But it doesn't get at who I am. It doesn't chip away at my person. You know, it will never chip away at my person. But him himself, I I don't have to chip away at Joe. My problem isn't with, with, with Joe. My problem is, uh, and at first it was, my problem was with Joe. Because I couldn't stand him. And I kept on fighting him on his own turf. You know, that was my problem. The thing is, it's not to fight the man, but fight what the man is doing. Once I separated him from what once I separated him from what he's doing, then I was able to actually do something about him. I was actually actually able to I mean look at him. Look at what I've done. He's not making infomercials no more. I mean I mean, even before he took all his videos down, he wasn't making infomercials like he was. I mean, he had a straight up conveyor belt from Rubu right over to him to his gum. I mean, I basically, I basically stopped him from making infomercials. Because every time he made an infomercial, I would go and report the stuff in. That's all I did. That's all I did for a whole year. And Joe's been wreaking the benefits of it every day. And I know it's hurting Joe because every time, because this is how Joe works. Joe gets a DMC takedown request from somebody. Joe comes straight over to my channel and puts in a fake one on mine. So he's going eye for eye, but now it doesn't work anymore. He can't do it. He's tried. It's not working. Oh boy, has he tried. He got one through. That's by a fluke. And they told me, uh, YouTube told me that was a fluke. They said, we sorry. They told me they sorry. You know. But the whole thing about this is, is he's, uh, he's done. He's trying to still make himself relevant. He's trying to make himself relevant by, by by going back to his little black hand book of how to terrorize people. That's that's all he has left. Uh, let's see, DMC takedowns, those not working. Uh, fake privacy complaints, oh, those not working. Uh, I bought a lot. I just do a whole bunch of videos just lying and saying things that happen that aren't happening. I think that may work, <laughs> and it's not working. 
I mean, he lied today saying he's going to get his stuff back up, and that's not happening. He lied today saying he's going to get his YouTube channel back, and that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, not in this lifetime. You know, maybe when True Bones Jr. is born, uh, and he has grandkids, maybe that'll happen, but it's not. My whole thing is, is that I, I think, I think I don't have to, uh, I mean, I'm, I guess I could make, tell you all, I'm not worried about no more. But I had to step in tonight to show you how his lies work. I mean, how does he, how, how he, how he makes a whole lie up. How he continues to perform at lying, just lying how he just did a slide of hand in front of all you guys saying um, I was searching for something in my uh, in my and the thing about this I have my bookmarks I knew he's going to do this you know so I before I showed my bookmarks I also went through my bookmarks and deleted stuff too stuff I didn't want him to see because it pertained to him and I didn't want to give him a heads up on what I have on him. All the stuff he saw in there about True Bones is stuff that's been taken down or stuff that's already that he already knows. But yeah, I went through I went through there and I went through there like before I did that video and removed a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't want Joe to see yet in my bookmarks. And I knew Joe's gonna see some stuff. I wanna say I'll say, you know what, I bet you he's so hard up to find something on me that he's gonna try to use this against me and he did. And it was just predictable. Now, everybody knows every time I say, oh, I'm with my bookmarks, I always move the bookmarks over to my other screen so Joe can't see them. But on this particular day, I've kept them up so he can see them. And I did that just so, just to prove a point to someone else who was watching this video on what he does and how he tries to use this stuff to manipulate and try to, uh, try to uh, refine his false narrative his, or, or, or his, or his, uh, uh, unreasonable but reasonable truth and unfacts you know and that's what he does watch him do the same thing tomorrow with my emails again he did I don't think he did my emails tonight did he I think he did my emails I think he did do my emails tonight but it's fine he can do whatever he wants to I, I, I am uh I think I'm done here people because I'm gonna sit back and uh watch me some anime and get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a nice big day I'm going to get up early morning leave and Joe can do all his little live streams all he wants but uh wish you guys a happy afternoon uh this is One Gun and I'd like to thank uh, Eve uh, Bat uh, Polywook Studios um uh yeah Mr. Jenkins and myself for showing up and chatting in my chat. I like when you guys chat in my chat. If you guys watching, don't get in my chat box and chat. You know, say some stuff. Um, also, I do have super chat. So if you guys want to throw about a couple bucks towards me, you know, five or six bucks towards me during uh, a live event, uh, please do so. It helps me out. It helps me keep my channel going and uh, helps me uh, buy stuff for my film that I'm making. So we can get away from him, and uh, like I said, if you guys want to check, I think this is like the last copy last left. Um, it's sixty-five dollars euros. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get this book for myself before the last copy is sold. But that's a this is a real good book. It's rare too. It's a very rare book too. It's rare book uh, anime book. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I like that. You see, this is uh this is what this is what he was trying to say. Um, porn now he's trying to say this was porn you know it's it's an art book that's all it is is art book look at all that that's some cool stuff right there real nice art book um and i wanted to buy it and he tried to turn it into something that it's, it's not you know it's just he's just a sad man who lives in his mom's garage what would you would you expect more so this is one good sign up, people. Hope you have a nice day. I'll try to talk to you guys tomorrow about something more positive. Uh, I'm trying to do more positive stuff, but every once in a while I have to do one of these videos to let you understand what I'm up against. I'm up against a straight-up buffoon, um, a slide of hand Sam, uh, a charlatan, you know, someone who actually tries to trick his audience into believing something that's unfounded and untrue. And I just broke it all down for you guys. 
what he just did. You 